and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some thralls to start off the brand new metagame for us. Patch 218, 218, however you want to say it, uh, is, is live now. Uh, these are going to be our first games after it. Um, but what we saw with that balance patch that we talked about yesterday, if you missed that video, uh, us uh, discovering the balance patch together, is that we saw that dragons got buffed a lot. And looks like there's going to be lots of dragon decks everywhere, people trying out dragon decks. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to be playing three anti-dragon decks. Now, I know these don't really have any of the cards that were just buffed or nerfed or changed, you know, like some of the new exciting cards to see how they are. We'll, we'll be doing those. We'll be playing those cards tomorrow and in the coming weeks and everything like we're don't worry about that. We're going to be playing a lot of the new cards, as you all know, on stream. But what I wanted to do to start with was take one day to play some anti-dragon decks, at least decks that I believe will be good against dragons. Um, so those of y'all that have been struggling against dragons, you can have some different decks that should that you can try that should do well against dragons. All three of these decks are decks that have been popular, good parts of the metagame. We got this one, we got the Bandle Tree deck, and we're gonna be playing Action Lee Sin as well. So those are all three decks that uh, you know are, are tried and true and are proven to be successful decks and i and i think that they'll be good against dragons and so for first one thralls the reason why i think thralls will be good against dragons is i think that maybe you can be faster you know like getting your frozen thrall down on round one um getting your promising future double up your thralls um you should be able to get a good amount of eight eights hopefully faster than what they are so hopefully you can just get bigger units faster and be able to tank them down while they're you know playing four fives and five fives and stuff like that hopefully your eight eights are bigger and faster that's that's the hope i think that's that's the main hope besides that with shirima we're going to be playing weight of judgment so instead of playing more avalanche you know we are not really going anti-aggro here we're going anti-dragon so we're gonna be playing weight of judgment instead of avalanche because weight of judgment dealing seven to a follower that can take down your screeching dragon or your eclipse dragon a uh, really good removal spell for dragon. So Weight of Judgment now uh, could be a premium removal spell with if there are a lot of dragons. If it turns out there's not many dragons and lots of aggro, you want to go back towards those avalanches instead. The other thing that the thralls have is frostbite. So you know, like they get like their large frost, their large uh, dragons. You have frostbite here. So come to the cold, flash freeze, three sisters. So you have like some good answers to really large units that way as well so we're gonna we're gonna try those out and you know we're trying out two weighted judgment maybe this should, should only be one and then you know play another flash freeze instead but i want to just kind of try out this card with it you know being new and everything so we'll see how it performs if it should just be a second flash freeze uh but that's it you know so let's let's get our frozen thrall let's promising future it let's tally it to copy and make a whole bunch of eight eights let's do it all right we're gonna go play five games in rent rankings reset we're not in Master's Rank anymore, all the way back down to Platinum. Platinum 4. Like I said, first games. Oh, hey, look at that. We play against Dragons. What a surprise. Very first game. So we need Frozen Thralls. Whenever you're playing this deck, Frozen Thralls is the most important thing to have. Perfect. You mulligan looking for it. Uh, Weighted Judgment was not changed. No, it's it's the exact same as it, as it al has always been. It's always been deal 2 to a champion, 7 to a follower. So it's been the Eclipse Dragon Killer. Shape the skies and mold the earth. Uh, question is, what do you think of Herald of the Magus in here? I don't think... I don't think we have enough landmarks to, to destroy for, for it to happen. You know, it's the five mana card that you need four landmarks to destroy. I don't think we have enough. First of all, and then second of all, uh, the five mana slot is really, really fill with already playing Talia and um, Draclorn Inquisitor. It's hard to play other fives because you, know, you also have like Preservationist, which is a good five. The prophecies ring true! All right, nice seven damage there to Screeching Dragon. So it kills a Screeching Dragon even through a Sharp Sight. So it's in there chilling with their Sharp Sight. 
that won't work. The end of this world draws near. Okay. So I guess we're going to let that kill Lysandra. We could, you know, three sisters succumb to the cold. But I think we want to just simply Talia here. I don't want to pass and then they pass. I don't know why they would pass, but I don't want that to happen. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. And if they kill Talia, that's fine with me, because I'm not really planning on getting two more landmarks in, so like that's perfectly fine. Good, you know, have them use a sharp side also. That's cool. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's how it is. Like, I could... We could succumb to the cold first and then do this so that we have... Um, we have another Frozen Thrall get advanced one, but that's probably not that big a deal. I think I'd rather just save the ability to maybe Fury of the North. You know, if we feel like doing that instead of Flash Freeze. Ashes and Stardust. Our time is over! Alright, so let's put some down to two. I'm going to just go ahead and, and do that. I think it's kind of too risky for me to do anything. If I, you know, if I use, like, whatever pump spell, then they start using, like, you know, pump spell, concerted strike, that kind of stuff. I don't want to get uh, punished for doing anything like that. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. This will take the chill off. That's a good one to hit. Alright, good card. It's possible we're going to need our other Frozen Thrall from here. Perfect. That was the exact card I wanted. If I did the Fury of the North, they could have like a sharp sight and save it, and then and that wouldn't really be worth it. Oh. I'll take a clock in it. There we go. All right, so good win. And can show the speed of thralls. Oh, hey, look. We're playing against dragons. What a surprise. All right, let's see how we do. All right, we got Frozen Thrall. Good. Frozen Thrall, Curator, Lissandra. Those three are good. The Three Sisters is awesome, but you know, we could maybe find another one. We want to find ways to double up. You know, we want Preservarium, Promising Future, that kind of stuff. All right, so so far so good. Kind of the question will be, ooh, so now they, they got a better start though, because you know, they got the Dragon Chow, so if they have like Shivana to go along with Dragon Chow, they can be more aggressive also. The question is gonna be like whether we want to cure it or right now, or if we should just Chronomancer. We wear red to honor the fallen. Hmm. Cause best like we really want to find a Talia, right? So we can copy this frozen thrall. Hmm. Curator or Chronomancer. Because we're also gonna want to like curve out, right? Like because we want to play Lissandra next round, then we want to play Promising Future, maybe another Promising Future. Got him. 
I guess I don't have to play Lissandra right now. Talia? I know Talia. I think I'm gonna skip. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Okay, I got the Shivana. I am always here when you need me. Prepare for battle. Break them. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Natalia. So I guess we just go for three eight eights. Wait, well I guess we can't have that th those three eight eights right now anyway. It'll be next round we get three eight eights. Maybe we draw Talia next round. Wow. They just wasted five mana. So if I block, it's a 7-6. If I don't block, it's a 6-7. I guess we block. Witness my true yeah, I mean, just... Power. Yeah, just because they wasted the 5 mana, though, doesn't mean we're necessarily going to win, right? Like, Shivana... Shivana's a heck of a card. So, like, we are in trouble here, because... Shivana's going to be tough to beat. I feel like I should be saving Tavern Keeper to heal an 8-8. That that was my problem with my play. Is I feel like I should be saving it to heal an 8-8. Um, I can't advance. They're definitely gonna be using fight spell, like right? Like the, like their plan is like they're gonna use fight spell on Lissandra and kill Lissandra. So I I don't feel like I need to level up Lissandra right away. I feel like we can just wait to advance. Ages past, yet I remain. Like they're just chilling on fight spells. Like that's that's pretty obvious. Our best draw right now is a frostbite card, and I kind of wish that whenever I did the predict earlier, I would have just taken the frostbite card. Yeah, like that's all they're doing. Just in on those. Really, Talia? Really? But yeah, I wish I had a Frostbite card. It is kind of scary, them thinking of them having Judgment. Sharp Sight Judgment. Okay, just Sharp Sight Concerted Strike. Okay, so that's not too bad, because we get to kill their Shivana. Alright, so now our clock hand will be able to get two more 8-8 overwhelms. I was definitely I was really scared of judgment. Shining gifts from the sky. Fire and fury. I don't really have to do this right now, but I also also, not really any reason not to do this right now. That's our, f f you know, we'd have enough for Watcher <laughs> if I waited till we leveled up. If I waited to level up Lissandra first before playing Lissandra, we'd had enough for a Watcher right there. So maybe I should have done that. Uh, what a great day! All right, two now. 
Oh, hey, look at that! We're playing against dragons! What a surprise! That's new. Alright, we don't have Frozen Thrall, unfortunately. He ends a lot worse without Frozen Thrall. Do I keep Preservarium for round two? Obviously, we're going to keep our champions. Do we... I kind of think maybe no. I think we I think we look for Frozen Thrall. Frozen Thrall, Frozen Thrall. Okay. Yeah, Judgment can be really scary with Overwhelm with Dragon's Clutch. That's true. So, uh, from... From the Prismatics, I got three Epics, you know, for being Masters Rank Prismatic. None of them upgraded champions. The three Epics I got were, um, one of them is in this deck, Promising Future. We were red. That's the first one. The, the second Dawn. one was, uh, Ruination. Cool card there. And the third one was Unyielding Spirit. Another cool card there. So I got some good ones. Got some good ones. I will bury the world in ice. All right, so we got kind of our anti-aggro stuff here. This is our worst hand and also our opponent's best hand that we've seen in these dragon matchups so far. So we could definitely lose this matchup. Yeah, this is that's that's the perfect curve. Monsters with heart are still monsters. That's the perfect curve right there. Prepare for battle. I guess I just let it strike me. I don't know. I could flash freeze. I feel like I'm supposed to wait on the flash freeze. I have kind of nothing to do. It's like the flash freeze just uses some mana right now, but. <laughs> yep, brick versus perfect draws. <laughs> That's life. It happens sometimes. Promising future, I needed you this round. This is the pr promising future round. So what's my plan next round? Is it Inquisitor? Or are we going Talia first? I feel like we're going Inquisitor first, making a new Thrall, the time of the bottle, the new Thrall. Yeah. This is my way to get an 8-8 next round. Come, my warrior. So I have an 8-8 to block Shivana. Yeah, we're playing some anti-dragons today, and we got paired against dragons round 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and for those of y'all watching later on YouTube, I am not just going through and just only showing y'all the dragon matchups. These are the, you know, because I like showing, like, five real games of how they happen uh, in ranked, so y'all can see, like, the... How the how the games really play out, how the decks really play out, and not just you know best case scenarios for the deck. We don't just like show wins over here. Would you know them to see them again, Jerick? So this is us naturally just getting paired against dragons a few times in a row. This is definitely our opponent's best hand. You know, like this is a great hand for them, and obviously not a great hand for us. Okay, so we're going to be probably copying this Frozen Thrall, but we're going to be just doing some Flash Freeze in this round, I think. Yeah, I think we're just doing some Flash Freeze in this round. I guess I could have cast... Oh, wow. That's all they're going to do? That's all they're going to do? Really? I feel like I can let Lissandra die. I think that's okay. Oh yeah, that thing gets so many counters, doesn't it? And then that like happens. Me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have used the flash freeze. The reason not to use the flash freeze. I mean, the reason too is that that's all kind of a problem. But the reason not to is that I want more eight eights right away. Oh. No, I definitely wish I would have used. Flash freeze, because I really want this promising future. Alright, so what are we doing? We we just doing this then? And next round. Promising future plus Talia. Mm. 
Probably should have maybe attacked with my 8-6 first. Like, that just been my first step. Let them spend mana. Fishies! With a resub for 32 months! Thank you, Fishies. I appreciate that. Bringing the hype. Alright, so I'm very glad that they blocked. So now we have room for all four 8-8s. That's going to be our plan. Now their plan could possibly be Aurelian Soul, but we're going to have all these 8-8s and Frostbites. Do they still mourn? Okay, Do maybe they not Aurelian Soul. Alright, so getting Entombed, that costs 6 mana. So I'd have 3 extra mana if I want to if I want to entomb, we probably don't need to entomb. I was thinking if I wanted to entomb Dragon Shivana or not. I could play... We could play Ravine over this 4-3. And then heal our Nexus and do two to... You know, two to these different blockers and stuff. They can strafing strike and kill Draclorn with a 3 4. I don't want to let him kill stuff. If you want to kill something, you're going to have to work for it. The other the reason to play Ravine also would be it'd be the fifth landmark for the Talia. We're at five out of two. So we play Lissandra, we can play Watcher. That's interesting. All right, so I can either open attack or we play Ravine over Inquisitor to level up Talia. Then we play the Lissandra over the Ravine to get the Watcher. Then we just play the Watcher over Lissandra. So we can attack with, if we do that, that's seven, that's seven mana. Yeah, and so that means we can attack with four eight eights and the leveled up Talia and the Watcher. The watcher is just at 11 17 though, no overwhelm. All rocks your road eventually. I think maybe we just open attack. She wills it. Everything burns. Cuz like without judgment, I don't really see them staying alive, right? And we have anti-judgment here. Alright, so even with their awesome start, and even with our bad start, still got that win. We should do this more often. GG's. Whoa, it's not a dragon deck. Alright, so we can definitely lose. It's not dragons. But we still got a pretty good little deck here with these thralls, so we got it. We got a shot. You've also been facing nothing but dragons. Yeah, you're hoping for new decks to counter dragons. Well, I mean, it's just the first day. Give, give me, give me a little bit of time to. Uh, I'll, I'll think of some new decks to counter dragons. I wanted to also play. You know, like I liked these because these are also you know proven decks that are going to be good that we know are going to be good. And I, I valued that, that as well in making the decisions to play all three of these decks. So if there's, you know, people like watching later on YouTube that, you know, want to pick up decks that are going to be dragons, I, I want to make sure that, all right, we know we know that Thralls, Bandle Tree, Action Lee Sin, we know all three of these decks are, like, these are meta decks that are all going to be good choices. Yeah, Way of Judgment being awesome. The day don't be rich Kordak suggested that. That was a good choice. Yeah. 
Oh, could also wait, you know, again, this could be like a time where we're supposed to wait on Lissandra, make sure Lissandra can get tough. I should probably copy... I should probably not play the time in the bottle so that we can have Talia copy... Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. The two. But I really want to play... I really want time in the bottle right now. I want an 8-8 to block Gangplank. Then I don't have a very good landmark to copy with Talia. So now what do we do? I either get an 8-8 right now to block Gangplank, and, and that's cool, but then, like, how, where do we get the second 8-8? The or we copy... If we copy... We're taking a lot more damage. We can, I mean, we can just, like, block with Talia. Okay. Come on, Final answer. Ah. Now to 10. I just can't really risk Lissandra dying. I want to block the chemist, but I can't really. Probably fine. Space, do I want to predict now or predict after I draw? Wow. That was good. I don't really know why I'm doing this right now, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should, should be open attacking, challenging the powder keg. But I guess they have to, like, cover something up if they want to play something, and that's kind of good for me. Alright, so this is going to be one, two, three frozen thralls. And a lot of their stuff dead. Please don't kill Lissandra. I would be very happy if you don't. So they changed the rules with uh, round start abilities, like how all the round start abilities happen now. So we'll have to just kind of see, you know, before it was active player first, non-active player second. So before I would have got like, like we get two 8-8s in play, Lissandra levels up, then, um, then, like, it blocks the one damage. Oh, they're the active player, though. Never mind. They're the active player. So that happens. take a lot of damage right there then it how they all happen at the same time we took the two from the blighted ravine before you know before it would have been all right you know like this one happened first which puts the two eight eights in play which with that we would have got the the tough nexus so we would have only taken one from the blighted ravine instead of two that would happen like how they happened before I'll just pass. We'll see if something dies. Uh, you know, could Preservarium over that 8-8. Actually, maybe, maybe we should time in the bottle right here. Because we're going to be trying to kill them next round, of course. Uh, we skip. I think we want, you know, like another, like one of our burst speed countdowns. That's what I was looking for. Another one of the, like another one of that card or the burst speed countdown one. Yeah, 
just can't quite. Meh. Never lost a fair game. Yep. Or played one. Yep, yep. All that glitters. So I actually kind of want this. I want this frost card thrall to die. So I have room for two more. And then I can play Watcher. Stinging cold. They're not helping me out. Now I feel bad for playing that Preservarium, I guess. I can't really do anything about it. Well, we only have room to grab the one Frozen Thrall. I I don't know. Funny the hand life deals with, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. Yeah, that's a problem. Wow. GG's. Quick death was too good. GG's. I their bones are split. Feel like I messed this up some somewhere in these last couple of rounds. I feel like I could have got a fifth one out here, could have had a watcher out here. Everyone pays. <laughs> Let them play explosives. Die. So it puts us down to two. My best draw right now is Kindly Tavern Keeper. We're going to be able to draw a lot, look for Tavern Keeper. We got two Tavern Keepers in the deck. Come on, Tavern Keeper. We're drawing a lot. Thankfully, we have no Puff Caps. We're drawing a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Tavern Keeper! Ranger <sighs> half our deck? I uh, can't really draw anymore. So it's just... It's just good old attack time, I guess. Nothing really else to do. Oh, Blighted Ravine! I don't, we also had Blighted Ravine, so we had five... We had, I guess we already played one Blighted Ravine, so we had four outs. Either Blight Ravine or Tavern Keeper. We had four outs. I can't draw a card. Okay, good. Wow. We should do this more often. That was close. Oh, and it's dragons again. What a surprise. So we'll see if we can. Uh, defeat dragons again. All right, we got frozen thrall. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and get rid of the inquisitor I think we'll keep Talia. We really want promising future um, On the thrall So right now our hands good except for promising future, right? Like that's like the only other uh, card that we need Maybe just pass and the skies darken with their approach. I guess I don't actually have to play Lissandra, do I? That's the question. Am I playing Lissandra or not? Okay. All right, let's see. We'll see. Do we have time? In a, do we have promising future? Yes, we do. Okay. So since we have promising future, then okay. If I curator, it goes down to two. We don't have time to Talia, do we? I will bury the world in ice. 
So no. So no. Um. No curator. Dragons is nasty. Point the way, and I'll make the way. Suffer my fury. All right, so we can block with one of these. Maybe. Stand back. I don't know. Maybe block both. Got a single combat out of the hand. I I couldn't really keep both of them alive also anyway. Or like, you know, I don't I don't know like I need room anyway. So like that's it's not that big a deal. I need room. Alright, we're gonna start with the Avalanche to try to take out some Herald of the Dragon so they don't get more cheap dragons. Like, you know, because if their plan is like a really soul next round. Or like this round with it costing two, you know, costing four less. They could have. I don't want that to happen. Do I want to be attacking for sixteen? Probably. I guess I could see going on the frozen thrall, like this frozen thrall. Maybe just play Preservarium. Have all these on defense. Look for... That doesn't seem right. Preservarium, look for like a Frostbite card. Are you in the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, it's tough because like we could so yeah, it's it's this is a difficult decision here because we could Preservarium look for like Frostbite and like save the two two for the five five because then we're just gonna get four eight eights that you know round start anyway. Um, it's that's kind of messy against like the Shivana then letting like the Eclipse Dragons fight and stuff. I don't know. Maybe, I, yeah, maybe like I shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have just waited and played Preservarium. I don't know. That was a tough, tough round. Tough decision. So, yeah, there's no sharp sight last round. It could have been just like their draw now, or they could have, I don't know, repose and re judgments. All that kind of stuff. Strafing strike, kill the 2-2. And then trade. Still, I'm, I'm happy to, to trade. You know, if these just... If all four of these... Tr if all four of these trade and, like, the 2-2 two -two trades for strafing strike, I'm very happy with all that. Plan against open attack. There we go. All right, so we got the first deck. Turns out to be pretty anti-dragon. Four and O oh versus dragons. That weight of judgment tech. 
got in there to help us finish out that last one. So yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Like the thralls are just kind of bigger, faster, uh, you know, like that kind of stuff, like just bigger, faster. And then you also have frostbites that are uh, really good. And yeah, I think that that's just going to be a pretty good matchup against dragons. Now, we did go 4-0 against dragons, but don't expect to win 100% against dragons, right? Never just expect to win 100% against anything. I was really surprised that round three, the game three, that we won that one with the, the start that they had and the start that we had. But we had, you know, clutch, promising future, Talia, uh, that set up that win. I wasn't expecting to win that one, but, um, you know, that's, there we go. So if you're struggling against dragons, if you're just seeing all dragons on the ladder, like I expected, like, like what we're seeing, here you go. Here's a list that can help you against dragons. But that's the first of three. If you uh, like thralls, definitely give this one a try. If you're not a big fan of thralls, maybe you like Bandle Tree or Action Lee Sin. We're about to show those off and see if we get paired against dragons some more. All right, but that's going to be it here for Thralls. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know if you are doing good against dragons with this or with one of the other ones uh, that we play. Let me know over there in the comment section. Or uh, what else do you want to see on stream? Now, obviously, in the next few days, we're going to be playing some of these other champions that got buffed, like Braum and Echo and Nocturne and Red Nectin and all that kind of stuff. Like, we're, we're going to be playing all these champions that got buffed here, you know, coming up. But I want to do an anti-dragon deck today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, but that's going to be it here for Thralls, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.